once again more more full speed now yeah this is full less less zero Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Mr. Electron. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to run this e-rickshaw brushless DC motor. Now this is a 48 volts, 500 watts motor and uh, it has three wires and a few hall cables. Okay, so uh, hall cables are not working. So I decided to use a no hall sensor type of BLDC controller. The link to buy this product will be provided in the description. And I also have this acceleration meter with a display and link for this product will also be provided in the description plus the battery measurement for that I have this meter and you can buy this with the link in the description so let's start with the construction part so guys uh, this is the BLDC motor controller and this is the label you can see here it is flashing uh, 48 volts to 64 volts 800 watts and here you can see that the current rating is around 30 amperes yeah although it is written in chinese but uh, the power rating with the unit to the side of it indicates uh, the value no other uh, label has been provided and these are uh, the wires the best part of this controller is that this is uh, the largest controller available in the no hall sensor type of uh, controller category so uh, a bldc motor with or without hall sensors can run with this controller that's why i bought this from banggoods coming to the cables so guys here as you can see there are two sections these and these so uh, these cables are little thicker which means more current will flow through them so obviously these cables are for uh, running the motor and for uh, connecting it to the main battery red is for positive black is for negative for the battery and the remaining three wires blue yellow and green of same thickness are for connecting the three phase wires of the bldc motor now comes the remaining wires i will tell you the function of these three wires afterwards this is the switch on connection when i connect all the wires then this main red wire will be connected to this thin red wire then only the motor can start running and guys uh, this is uh, the motor speed controller and this is the thumb controller okay you see and this space has been provided for fitting it uh, to the handle of the bike or electric motorcycle and this is the battery display meter it can measure voltage from 12 to 72 volts battery pack now uh, there's one thing guys that i need to tell you i bought this controller uh, but the pin section of uh, this was something like this okay you see green red and black this was a part of these three wires i had to cut it off and this you see red and green and black this was a part for the controller and i had to cut that also because i had to connect these two together but they were not matching each other so i had to do that okay so red green and black on this side of the BLDC no hull sensor type of motor controller will be connected to red green and black of this BLDC speed controller okay so let's do that first green to green okay red to red of course and black to black So guys here as you can see that I have successfully connected uh, the red, green and black wires. All the remaining wires are still not connected. And you see this yellow and uh, this blue cable coming out from the accelerator. Okay. 
So these two are for uh, connecting it to the controller for displaying the battery level. So even if we do not connect it, still the motor will work and what's going to happen is it's not going to display the voltage of the battery. Now comes uh, the important part of connecting the power supply to this controller and the motor to this controller. So let's do that. So guys, uh, since I do not have uh, 48 to 64 volts battery pack, so for that I am going to use this power supply. You can see here it is flashing 59 volts DC. Okay, add the output current of 2.75 amperes, 2.7 amperes. It is for charging an e-bike battery. Okay, and this is the motor that I am going to test this power supply on. You can see at present it is it is on. It is not showing charging because it is not connected it and it is showing full. Okay, so let's connect it to the controller. So guys here as you can see that the motor terminals have been connected yellow to yellow here are the wires coming from the controller yellow to yellow blue to blue and green to green and in stable position with the help of clips two wires are still left red and black that will be connected to the battery. So guys at present the meter is showing zero volts. Now this is the cable coming out from the e-bike battery charger okay so let's measure its output and also which terminal is positive and which one is negative first one is this you can see here the meter is flashing 55.27 volts and left one is positive and the right one is negative okay so the voltage is sufficient for running the controller Let's hope that the current that this controller is producing which is 2.7 amperes is also enough. Left one is positive. Positive is red. Okay. So first I am going to connect this red wire to the positive terminal. This is the positive. Left one was positive. Red has been connected to positive. Let's connect it to this red wire. Okay. So guys starting from the terminals coming out from the battery charger here you can see the battery charger wires red has been connected to left white has been connected to the right one and uh, the right one is negative so negative has been connected to the thick black wire black is for negative always red is for positive coming out and connecting to the thick red wire and also to the thin red wire of the same section you see this is the same section the thin red wire is connected directly to the thick red wire and to the supply. The remaining wires blue, green and yellow are connected directly to the three phase wires of this PLDC motor. And I have to buy this type of controller because I didn't have these haul cables on the PLDC motor. Okay, So this is how it looks. This is the speed controller. So guys it's time to run it. So this is off and this is on. So at present it is on. Let's start it. Okay. You see it is running. Let's go a little bit higher speed. Speed is really high now. More. Very high speed. Let's go a little more. It is running really fast. It works pretty good. 